Starting an e-commerce store is one of the best ways to make money in 2026 because if you're anything like how I was before, you had the drive in you, you had the hustle in you, but your finances are not really reflecting that. And I get it, it is very hard, especially because it usually takes a lot of money to start a business. But with an e-commerce store, you can start selling products online, you don't need a lot of money to start, you don't need a lot of skills, and you can make money anywhere in the world. I know that sounds good to me, that's why I started selling e-commerce in 2020. My first product was a digital product and ebook, so I really didn't need a lot of money to start, and I have never worked a job since then. So in today, I'm gonna be helping you set up your complete e-commerce website from start to finish. By the end of this video, you will have your online store up and running and ready to sell and ready to make money that could change your life for good. Whether you're someone who's selling a digital product like an ebook or a template, or you're selling a physical product like art, or clothes or something that you personally made, or you're selling services like coaching because you want to help people. No matter what type of e-commerce that you're selling, Hostinger is going to be the best solution for you because they're affordable, you can sell multiple things, you get up to 50 websites, and they have AI tools that make it easier than ever to start. If you want to follow along with me and create your own website, then the link for Hostinger will be in the description below. Hostinger is sponsoring this video. I've been working with them for years because I believe it's one of the best solutions out there for beginners to start and scale their business for an affordable price. Plans start at just $2.75 per month and you wanna get in now because they're having their Black Friday sale so you get an extra three months and you get a free domain. Hostinger is great for people who you have a lot of ideas, you have a lot of possible products so you can create up to 50 websites on the same plan and so if you have you know, a product that is for hair and and a product that is for business, well, that's totally fine. You don't need to buy a bunch of different plans. No, just create 50 websites. You can sell any type of product, up to 1,000 products. You keep 100% of your profits because Hostinger does not take any transaction fees. And you have a lot of AI tools so that if making a website was hard before, it's not really gonna be hard now with Hostinger. So I want you to click choose plan. For the plans, you can choose your duration. The longer plan you choose, the better price you get. You do have to pay upfront and because it's Black Friday, they're having three extra months that you get. But if this price is too much for you, go to the one month plan, you know, or go to the 12 month plan or the 24 month plan, you'll pay it month by month. I just personally like the 48 month plan because I like to get payments out of the way. So I know for the next four years, whatever business I want to start, my past self set me up so that I never have to worry about this. I mean, I get up to 50 websites, you know, if you already know your business, then just enter your domain name that you want here because you do get a free domain. And if you think you want to email people and do email marketing, then add email marketing here. Again, you pay for a one year term. Most importantly, I want you to click on have a coupon code and put in energy. This is going to get you an extra discount so that the plan becomes even more affordable for you. Once you sign up for your plan, you can use the templates that Hostinger gives you. This is a good place to start if you don't wanna do you know any extra work. But what I suggest is using Hostinger's AI Builder. The way that it works is that we enter our brand name. For this example, I'm gonna be someone who's like a career coach helping people to do interviews. So I'm gonna say, okay, my brand name is the interview guru and a description of my product. I'm gonna say I run a career coaching business and I sell digital products that help people you know, nail the interview. When you're writing this, the AI is going to kind of predict what you need on your site. So because I said I have a coaching business, it says add and enable appointments to my site. Then I'm gonna press create a website. The AI is going to take a few minutes and this is the AI doing a lot of work for you. So if you're like me, who I always hated creating websites, just use the AI to help you. From there, it's gonna give you a personalized template to you. Now it has information that it thinks that you would start with, but it's up to you to kind of go in and make this more tailored to your own business. You see that it added a page for bookings as well, so you can just fill in that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press continue, and this is how we're going to edit our website. Now I don't want you to be overwhelmed because Hostinger has these setup steps in the left. So we can click on these steps, and it'll 
it'll tell us everything that we need to do. We can edit the heading text. So we can click on there and you see the heading text highlights. So maybe instead of nail your interview, I might wanna say something like double your salary in 90 days with my ebook or with my coaching or whatever I'm selling, you know? I can put whatever I want and you can see that it says, okay, two of seven steps completed. And then I click on next step. I can update the image. So here there's an image and up here there's a video. If I click on the video, you see it says edit section and then I can replace the video. So maybe I wanna replace it with a video of myself or I can put an image. And so I can say replace image and then I'll press on free images and I can just say something like, you know, job. And if this is an image that I like, I'm gonna press add to page. There is also the option to generate an image with AI just by typing your prompt. I might say something like a person being interviewed by a woman wearing a pink dress and then click on create image. So these are the images that it came up with. And if I like these, then these are the ones that I could use. In these setup steps, we can edit whatever text and social media, but I wanna go to the online store setup, specifically click on add a product. And we can sell all types of products, but I'm gonna choose a digital product to sell. You don't even need to know like how to fill in all of this. Cause I know if I saw this, I'd be like, eh, I'm too lazy to do it. That's how we're gonna use AI. So we're gonna upload our product images. From those product images, the AI is going to actually fill out the information. So I wanna sell an ebook. So I just uploaded my ebook cover, but you can upload whatever product images that you have. And you can see this is all done, the title, everything. This is an ebook about how to advance your career using AI methods. And it's saying that I should sell it for $25, which to be honest, I think is a good price. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. And then when we go further down, you can see upload files. This is where I'm gonna upload my actual ebook. With digital products, Hostinger is going to send a link to your customer. So you can say, okay, I want them to access the link for 48 hours, seven days, 30 days, whatever it is. I think that like seven days is good. The AI already suggested that we have a category called career guide for our product, and it's gonna show any related products that we have. That's as easy as it is. We're gonna click save. So once your customer orders something, they'll automatically get a link to download this career guide or whatever your digital product is in their email. That way it's super passive for you. You don't have to worry about anything after you upload it. We'll go back to the steps. Now it's time to set up a payment method. The way that it works is that your customer orders from you and then that payment gets sent to your payment method of choice. So it could either get sent to your PayPal or it could be sent to something called Stripe, which is the most popular one. And people can pay a variety of different ways. They can pay with their Visa, their MasterCard, their Amex. They could pay with Apple Pay or Google Pay. They could pay with PayPal. I suggest to have both PayPal and Stripe. Now, if you want to you know, have manual payments like cash or bank transfers, you can do it here. I wouldn't really suggest that. Then once you get paid, it's up to you to go to your PayPal or go to your Stripe account and withdraw that money. I'll show you kind of behind the scenes, but when a customer buys your digital product, it'll go into like your Stripe account or something and you'll see all of the payments there. So this is for an old product that I don't sell anymore. All your money will then show in something called your balances and then you can manually withdraw that to your own bank. And that's exactly what'll happen with PayPal as well. After we added our payment method, we can go ahead and update our information with our company. This is where you're gonna enter your company name. You can enter your company address. I would suggest if you don't have a company address, you can get a mailbox or something like that to put here. And you can upload your logo here. If you're selling a physical product, I would go here to the shipping button and I would select what countries you wanna ship to. So maybe I just wanna ship to like United States. I'm only gonna put United States as an option. If I also wanted to have like coaching and stuff, I can go here to this button for appointments. And this is where we're going to edit and change any of our availability. For whatever product that you're selling, reviews really help you sell more. So I would go to this products tab in the left and then I would click on product reviews 
and I would turn on the product reviews. This is because when customers see that there's a lot of good reviews on your product, they're more likely to trust you and to buy more. Discounts are also a way to get more sales. So to add a discount, say it's Black Friday or it's Christmas or it's your birthday, just come to this discounts tab, click on add discount. And then here you can have something like Black Friday and the discount is maybe, you know, 10% or something like that. And you could apply it to specific products or specific categories. You can adjust the settings here, but then just click save. And now you can share your discount code. I wanna look at the website that we have so far. This is with minimal editing. Of course you can edit it as much as you want to, but I like just having something that you can get up and get out and then kind of tweak more along the way. So we have the home page, we have the booking page, and then we have the page for coaching and other resources. Now this is good, but if you notice, where's our products, right? We need to edit this and get our products actually shown. You can do this on any page, like the home page, but I'm just gonna go to the resources page and then I'm gonna click on add section, click on online store, and then you could choose the layout that works best for you. For this one, I'm just gonna choose single product because we only have one product right now. To get the product we want to be shown here, I'm gonna click on edit section and then in products, I'm gonna change it to our AI ebook that we uploaded. So when our customer is on our website, say they click the resources tab, this product is the first thing that's shown. They can add it to the bag and they can also shop any other products that we have in this section. Say we wanna have a blog on our site. I'm gonna go to the left-hand menu and click on blog. As you can see, there's already something here. And if you wanna add more, I suggest just use their AI writer and then have the AI just write some blogs for you if you want to have a blog. Now in the left side corner, you can see that we have our social media and stuff to add. I would suggest that you add it if you have it. So we're going to click on the social media, edit social icons. And then here is where you can add the link to, you know, your Facebook or your Instagram or your TikTok, whatever you have for your business. Now our website is honestly pretty much done. Like just edit any text that you want. But if you want to add anything extra, then come to this elements tab and you can see that you could literally just drag and drop anything that you want, text, buttons, maps, videos, and you have so many AI tools that you could use like to generate a blog or to generate an image. It shouldn't take you more than like one day to have your website and your very first product up and running. The last thing we need to do is just press the go live button and now your website is officially ready to sell on. Now that you guys have your website up and running, you are completely ready to launch your business, to accept payments, to look professional. Most people never even do this and they're just maybe selling off of Instagram or something like that. I don't like that. I prefer to look professional. And if you are interested in selling digital products, I'm gonna put this digital product playlist on the screen where I go really, really in depth. So other than that, I will see you guys in one of those videos.